Michael Howell 58. You think that Mike Tyson couldn't beat Tommy Fury's ass right now? You're wrong. <laughs> you so what do, do, Mike? Mike said lately. What age 58? If you were to believe that Mike Tyson could not defeat Tommy Fury at this point, you would be mistaken. Since it's a professional fight, Mike said, stop eating all the PR and taking fights seriously. How does that make you as a guy as he should? In other words, why is he bragging about quitting smoking during this professional fight? Congratulations, Mike. You should give up smoking. You're focused in telling everyone that you should because I'm coming for you and you have a lot on your plate. Jake Paul is currently facing consequences for his constant blabbering as he truly lacks self-control. In addition to stifling Jake's ego in the ring, Mike Tyson is reportedly about to dishonor him for the rest of his life for his disrespect. Jake hasn't stopped talking about how Mike Tyson isn't deserving of the media recognition he's been receiving. Even more, Jake claimed that nearly everyone has been underestimating him. Have a look at this. I'm not sure if Mike is underestimating me, but I wouldn't assume he is based just on the comments. There are literally 100,000. I believe that the rest of the world agrees that Jake is getting incinerated if he loses. If you can confirm this with me in person, I'll have to go back. People approach me and kind of ease into the conversation, saying things like, Oh, have you seen those like videos he's believe you though my dad said he think got it say valid? Well, at least there's like 30 or 40 people that believe I'm going to win and Jasper's dad that's go okay Jake. I'm like, Bro, what are you talking about? My brother is going to kick his ass. It appears Jake is finally realizing he's picked the wrong opponent and he's trying to wriggle his way through with his disrespectful remarks. It seems Jake is trying to get into Mike's head to lessen his ego, make him get angry and lose his cool. But can Jake handle Mike Tyson's anger? That may be true, but that's because nobody is willing to throw all of Mike's achievements in the trash. In the ring, Mike is a beast in addition to being a furious Mike Tyson. You have to watch this to find out how far Jake went to irritate Mike. Jake is in for a treat, but it's not a sugary kind of treat. Jake Paul had mistreated Mike Tyson, eh? Now he wants to murder him before his fight with Clifford Elliott in 2003. Tyson had a well-known face tattoo. After converting to Islam, he deeply regretted the tattoo and had it removed because it was against Islamic law. This is when Jake went too far and got a replica of the tattoo, which Mike was extremely embarrassed of, and he posted a video mocking Tyson. This was just the beginning of Mike's rage. Jake took this a step further by recording himself biting a fake ear before revealing a black man with a portion of his ear bitten off. This was a reference to Tyson's infamous ear-biting event involving a Vander Holyfield in 1997. Despite the light-hearted nature of the taunt, Tyson's ear-biting incident remains one of the most notorious moments in boxing history, and instead of this scaring Jake, he is using this as a way to make fun of Tyson and get into his head. Jake's goal is to make Tyson so angry that he loses composure however i think an angry tyson is the most dangerous version that's ridiculous everyone agreed that jake went too far with that one anyway folks are saying jake really doesn't stand a chance of winning the fight most people are caught up in the fact that mike will surely destroy jake in the ring with no single doubt and the last guy that he just fought at cruiser I think you said the other day he was like the 19 ranked guy he looked like a potato he was inactive for for I don't know how how long years yeah that guy looked like you know it's the same neighborhood I heard he's fighting Clint Eastwood next Jake Paul's verse Clint Eastwood stay tuned for that one Tyson has the technique and footwork down if you watch his exhibition against Roy Jones he still managed to close distance slip a jab, and deliver nasty body shots. Of course, he looked better than Jones did. He was also older. I believe he was 54 at the time, 2020, but that doesn't make him an advantage over Jake. Interestingly, the match has been scheduled, and everyone is eagerly awaiting the big day. Jake and Mike have also engaged in a few fighter talks and hype, and none of them seem to be taking it easy on each other. Keep cheering. I'll finish Jake.
Paul F C K Jake Paul F Paul Jake Jake Paul Paul Jake. I hope everyone maintains the same enthusiasm when I take out Mike Tyson, who is risking a lot. Serious injury against a powerful 27-year-old who is in his prime. What do you say to that? I'm not sure if he's in his prime, but he's fat. He should be lean and mean. He's fat and applause funky. I saw him take off his shirt over that fat, and I thought, did you start training already? This is going to be a historic event in the boxing world, but everyone is cool with a legendary fighter and Jake having trash talks, as previously mentioned. Jake took it too far, which has been his worst mistake, but everyone is fine with Jake not letting his guard down and not feeling discouraged. However, they draw the line when Jake disrespects Mike Tyson. This is not just any ordinary fighter from the streets. This question is for Jake, obviously. Mike is one of the biggest hitters the heavyweight division has ever seen. He looks extremely fierce on Instagram, especially still. Do you think he'll be able to match Mike Tyson's power at this point? I know I will be able to because I'm a natural heavyweight. This is what I was born to do is to move up into this weight class, and I'm going to show Mike who has the more power because he's underestimating. I think everyone else is underestimating me, and I think I hit harder. I know it's going to be difficult. When asked about the fight and what he believes will happen, Mike didn't have much to say. Excuse me, can Jake take your power? We're going to see, huh? Oh, that's right. I know I'm going to have to fight through adversity. I might even have to go to the canvas. Don't get me wrong, I'm scared, but it's not about the fear stopping me. It's about going into it even though I'm scared. Even though Jake the YouTuber speaks more than a legend like Mike, Jake appears to be losing interest in the whole situation. When asked if he could defeat Mike Tyson, Jake's response left everyone wondering where the former Jake had gone. Do you believe that I will actually beat Mike Tyson? Indeed, I'm not connected to the light. Hook his butt all right, okay? Do you honestly believe that you will defeat Mike Tyson, Jake Paul? Yes, you can see how anxious he was, but that was only the beginning. When Jake realized he was getting more criticism than he had anticipated, he lowered his head in shame and apologized for his treatment of Mike. Mike says he's going to knock me out, but I bought myself some time, so Mike is still talking, so I do, like, cherish his health first and foremost, because I adore that guy and I have so much respect for him. Mike is over there, though. I'm prepared for you whenever you're ready, since this is an enormous opportunity. If you wish to proceed with this as you mentioned behind closed doors and behind the scenes, you mentioned that you want to accomplish this in Q4. Interesting enough, rumors have it that Mike is not taking Jake's apology, instead he is more enraged and ready for a fight. Given how fierce Mike can be, this is bad news for Jake, because Mike has allowed a lot of things slide by agreeing to fight, but he obviously doesn't tolerate disrespect, which is why he is so adamant about refusing to accept the apology. Additionally, Mike rejects Jake's apologies, since he doesn't believe it to be sincere. Mike believes Jake's apology was a calculated attempt to defuse the situation because of the negative feedback Jake was receiving on social media. That's still unfortunate for Jake, though, as people still believe he will lose in the ring. I usually encourage people to forget about Jake Paul being a YouTuber and to watch him box the kid is 100% capable of fighting. If Jake Paul is on the other side of the ring and he sees Mike Tyson just thing-bobbing and weaving, he's going to have a recognition 